What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace of 36, where we've just had the biggest reveal of the whole game yet. And it is that Dirk Sogmati was dead for days. But, uh, what's her face? Amara was spirit channeling him. Why'd this have to happen? Damn it, Dirk, answer me! How could this be? That traitorous snake, the very head of the insurgency, murdered? Oh, what a joyous day. Those fools shouting for change and revolution. We'll finally return to whatever rocks they crawled out from under. Was I even fighting for? Apollo. What am I supposed to do now? Sun. Simba. A lawyer. Should never look the way you do right now. A dragon never yields. Even when wounded, a dragon bites down hard and never lets go till its dying breath. It glares, it roars, and it latches the jaws firmly onto its prey till the bitter end. It's very vivid. That's what lawyers do to get to the truth. But, Dirk. What if the truth is that you're... It's the truth, son! The truth! In court tomorrow, you may find yourself faced with a truth that is difficult to accept. But I know you, and I know you can handle the truth no matter what it turns out to be. I know that because I believe in you. You're my son, after all. You believed in me that much, Dirk. Dirk, I think I, I think I, I finally understand. I think that's what he said. I can't yield. Not now, not ever. Not after Dirk believed in me, despite knowing that what was about to happen. Besides, Dirk left me with two things I must do. Are you all right, Apollo? Sorry about that, Mr. Wright. But I'm fine now. Detective Sky. Yes? How sure are you that the body's been there for a few days? I'm positive. No autopsy's been performed yet, but I'd say it's been at least three days. Fortunately, the low temperature inside the sarcophagus kept it from decaying. And the chest area bore three gunshot wounds from a small caliber weapon. I believe they are the cause of death. At least three days, huh? That means Dirk was already dead by the time he came to visit me back in the States. Then who was channeling him? I think it would have to be... Someone who could get into and stay in the US without arousing suspicion. Yet also had a solid cover story so they wouldn't be seen as missing. Maya? I believe this is who was channeling Dirk when I saw him in the States. Oh, I see. She was being held hostage at the time. So it seemed only natural that she wasn't around. Right. 
Do you remember what she said earlier? So please just tell me, what exactly are you hiding? Sorry, but I promised Dirk I wouldn't say. You made a promise to Dirk? Mm-hmm, a pretty big one. Dirk didn't want his own death to be known. The other members of the Defiant Dragons would lose all hope if they found out. And that would snuff out the flames of revolution for good. Miss Faye, Dirk told you to keep quiet about this, didn't he? I guess it's no use hiding it anymore. Yes, I promise not to tell. Dirk made me promise before he died. So I was right then. Apollo? There's something I need to tell you. It's about, you know, Dirk's final moments. I'm listening, Miss Faye. What happened in his final moments? It was soon after I was kidnapped. Dirk paid me a visit in the tomb where I was being held captive. I'd say it was a few days before Minister Inga's murder. Hey, young lady, time to get you up and out of here. Ooh. It's that revolutionary guy. I'm here to rescue you. You are? Why? I figured things were a little too quiet with that stamp-sucking scumbag. So I started digging around. That's when I found out you'd been adopted. Adopted. But why would a rebel help me? Let's go before it's too late. It already is for you, pal. It's high noon. Long time no see, you rebel brother. Inga. I know you're up to something, and I'm gonna find out what. Oh god, they're actually showing a shot. And blood. That's gotta smart. You become a real door on my side, see? I'm not gonna... We're already at the end. I'm not gonna mess it up. So it's time for you to be pushing up daisies. <laughs> Did you really think a pea shooter like that... Could kill a dragon? What the? <laughs> what are you, some kind of freak? Nuts to this. Oh, a cutscene, like an actual cutscene would have been good too. Dirk was shot several times, but he barely even flinched. He sacrificed himself for me. What a boss. These ropes! I gotta help you! Relax, it's gonna be okay. Sorry things turned out this way, but it doesn't look like I have much longer. Don't say that! You're a spirit medium, aren't you? When I'm gone, I want you to channel my spirit. Don't give up like that! If you do, untying a rope like that'll be child's play. Please hang in there, you can still make it. Promise me one thing, young lady. It's about my son. <laughs> Dirk was talking about you, Apollo. He said he wanted to see you, one last time. So he asked me to return to the US and channel his spirit. He really said that? Mm-hmm. He also said he'd been meaning to visit you for years, but kept putting it off. And that this was his last chance.
You just show up here without warning after all this time? What gives? I came all this way to see you, son! Come rejoice! Why don't you tell me the real reason you're here? You really did come to the US because you wanted to see me. I guess this means... It was Inga that hid Dirk's body in the sarcophagus after Maya left the tomb. Apollo, you can't stop now. Dirk would want you to keep pressing on. I know, Miss Faye. And I won't disappoint him. Defense, if you're ready to proceed, I'd first have you answer this. Do you believe the accused's death will impact what we know about this case? Yes, and I believe I can explain everything now. Bold claim. Very well, your explanation, please. Dirk entered the tomb at 3 p.m., the time the hostage exchange was to take place. Or rather, Dirk as channeled by Miss Faye did. Now, by the time he entered the tomb at 3 p.m., Minister Inga was already dead. I say that because we know the minister was murdered at 2 p.m. Wait a minute. Okay. But there was someone else in there. This person was already hiding in the tomb, waiting to channel Dirk in place of Miss Faye. It was you, wasn't it? The fact of the matter is, Queen Amara killed Minister Inga at 2 p.m. She then went to his private quarters and channeled the spirit. The minister, thinking he was going to be late, hurried to the tomb for the hostage exchange. But once in the tomb, Queen Amara stopped channeling Minister Inga and hid herself. Then when Turk entered at 3 p.m., she snuck up from behind and forcibly drove Dirk's spirit out of Miss Faye's body. Drove his spirit out of her body? Impossible. Objection! Actually, there is a way to do that. With the Magatama of parting, that is. Using one, anyone could drive a spirit out of a person's body, even if it refused to leave. Are you telling me that the extra pale brown Magatama in the tomb was... That it was. That's right, Prosecutor Sotmati. And you've seen one in action before. You saw how the glowing red Magatama sent the High Priest back to the Twilight Realm. And how it turned a spent pale brown afterwards. In other words, the brown Magatama found in the tomb looks that way because its power had been used up in pushing Dirk's spirit out of his face body. I probably passed out as soon as Dirk's spirit left my body. I was exhausted after channeling him for so long, after all. After that, Queen Amara must have dressed Miss Faye in her usual outfit and tied her up. I'm not sure where she got the outfit, but we can assume she had it all planned out. Then, Queen Amara must have changed into Dirk's clothes, smeared blood onto them, picked up the knife and channeled Dirk's spirit. That's how she made it look like Dirk had committed the crime. And that's how she escaped, right under our noses. I don't know, Apollo, the whole thing still seems a bit far-fetched. What was going through your mind while all this was unfolding?
So ultimately it was all for naught. Nayuda? Those dreams of revolution Dirk was always spouting. They placed nothing but false hope in the minds of the people. And in the end, they were simply fantasies. How could you? Karma has spoken. The dream of revolution has withered on the vine. Its fate is sealed. The other insurgents will soon wake from their shattered dreams. Dirk's dream can't die like this. I'm not going to sit back and let that happen. I can't and I won't. Nayuda, don't forget that Dirk's been proven innocent. His name is no longer tainted by the charge of murder. Now the rebels and their sympathizers who have been calling for his release can't be charged with abetting the accused. So the revolution is far from over. It's only just begun. Objection. No, Dirk has not yet been proven innocent. You have merely indicated the possibility of his innocence. What do you mean? Dirk is indeed, uh, indeed dead. However, what if it was Dirk who killed Minister Inga while being channeled by Miss Faye? And while the crime could have occurred at 2 p.m., you have yet sub to substantially prove it. Or do you have conclusive proof that the time of Minister Inga's death was at 2 p.m.? Well, no, I don't, but... It seems further testimony will be required of me. As it would appear that I have fallen under suspicion, I'd like to state my case. Prosecutor Sadmati, the rebellion must be snuffed out once and for all. You must prove Dirk Sadmati to be the foul murderer that he was. And every last insurgent and their sympathizers. Blech. Must be found guilty under the Defense Culpability Act. As you wish, Your Eminence. Why is Nayuta doing this? Garen shouldn't have him under her thumb anymore. Amaro's not a hostage, so what gives? What's left to chain you to her like this? Very well then, Queen Amara. Please proceed with your additional testimony. Well done, lawyer. You have painted me as a killer with nothing but your silver tongue. However, you have no evidence proving your distasteful theory. Furthermore, Dirk could have committed the crime while being channeled by Miss Faye. Now let us end this charade. For the eternal glory of Kurainid people. Do you understand now, you putrid pepper? There's no point in defending Dirk any longer. It has all been in vain. Let it go and move on, right? Well, not today. Your theories are but a pillar of salt that crumbles at the slightest breeze. But no more. This ends here and now. The defense may proceed with its cross-examination. Except I'm going to end this video here today. So stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Have a lovely Christmas. Bye-bye!